We get a lot of questions about our sleeping shelters or tarps as they're called in Norwegian. We have one that's made out of 100% uh, linen. It's not treated with anything. It has uh, leather reinforcements uh, in every corner and wherever you will fasten ropes, which is in the corners. Um, and also down the sides, you know, when you fasten it with ropes so it doesn't break. You need to make sure that the angle is uh, uh, very steep when you put it up. And of course nothing can touch the, the cloth, like you can't lean anything on it and you can't um, put your head on it and stuff because then the water will come through. We have another one in linen, linen too that I can't find. Um, that one is treated with linen oil which makes it even more waterproof and a little bit heavier. And when I say waterproof, uh, I mean it's better than sleeping under a tree. As you probably understand, the Vikings didn't go hiking as a vacation in the mountains like we do. Uh, but they did, however, have boats. Which brings me to this next um, tarp, which is made out of wool. It also has leather reinforcements in all the corners and wherever you will fasten ropes. Now the linen one is uh, not so heavy, so one person can carry this uh, on one entire hike um, in addition to the other, like the bedroll that you will be carrying with you. Then we just wrap it in here, like it's in the bedroll. This one, uh, the woolen one however, is uh, extremely heavy because it's made based on a sail. So it's uh, wool, quite thickly, thickly woven, and then on one side it's untreated, and on the other side it's treated with uh, a mix of horse fat and ochre. That makes it very water and windproof, but it also makes it so heavy that you don't want to carry this around unless you have a horse or something. Oh, it's extremely heavy. But we figured that the Vikings sometimes maybe took the sails off and then made a tent out of their oars, wrapping the cloth around. If you go to my blog, you will see more pictures and more explanations to what I'm talking about now. Regardless of the fabric or how you treated it, the most important thing to remember when you put up a, a tarp is the angle. It needs to be steep, it needs to be straight, and you can't have anything touching it, like a branch, or it can't be leaning on anything, because then the water will break through. So you basically have two options. You have a linen option, either one with no treatment, just raw linen, thickly woven, with leather enforcements, or you can make one like this and then treat it with linen oil, which will make it a little bit heavier, but it will be more water resistant. We've also made tents out of 100% wool with no treatments, and that's actually very, very good. So um, you also have the option of making a tarp that's impregnated with um, horse fat and ochre, and you can also make a tarp that's just not impregnated at all, it's just wool. You just watched the first Hands on History vlog post. We hope you like it. We decided to make a vlog because we get so many questions uh, from all of you. If you have more questions, don't hesitate to ask. Send an email to ingrid at handsonhistory.no. That's ingrid with a D, handsonhistory.no. And me, Heidi and Ricard, will do our very best to answer your questions. Have a nice day.